How do DJI, a huge worldwide manufacturer of drones, announce to the world that we have actually got a new drone being launched without actually telling us they're launching a new drone? Quite simply, they launch at version 1.4.8 with added support for the DJI Mini SE. Dropped a bit of a clanger there, but uh, this is DJI, so God knows what they're thinking. So today, this morning, iOS users got the notification to say there was a new app update, version 1.4.8, and no doubt Huawei users would have actually got this notification as well. If you don't know already, the DJI Fly app is the one that actually supports uh, six drones now. So that is the DJI Mini SE, the DJI Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, the Mavic Air 2, the Air 2S and the DJI FPV. So in this video I'm going to show you a little run through about what's actually new for the app version and then I'm going to show you how to do a manual install if you are on Android and you have not got a Huawei phone and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then on a follow-up video, I'm going to go out, I'm going to test the uh, features and just see how it performs. So let's get into it. So first things first then, let's take a look at what is actually new. As we've already discussed, we have added support for the DJI Mini SE. We have ads trimmed download for the DJI Air 2S. I'm going to have to get the DJI Air 2S out and just have a look and see exactly what that is. Um, optimizes camera exposure, parameter adjustment. Again, I'll get the drone out and just see exactly what that is. Hopefully that's something to do with the uh, exposure issues and uh, not being able to lock in that exposure. And then optimizes attitude indicator and map on the bottom left of this screen. There is one little thing I'm hoping that happens on this uh, new app version when it comes to the map. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that and uh, just see if it uh, is new. And hopefully it's relating to the little blue dot um, being behind the home point on the map, which doesn't make any sort of, not, sorry, not on the map, on the attitude indicator, which makes absolutely no sense. So hopefully DJI have fixed that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you exactly how to install it. And again, as I've already mentioned, you know, iOS users would have got the update automatically, um, or at least you can update it through the App Store. Huawei uses the exact same. Unfortunately, because the um, DJI Fly app is not on the Google App Store or Google Play Store, we of course need to do a manual install. So what I've done is even though the iOS version came out this morning, I have waited a few more hours just to be able to bring you this complete video to give you this tutorial on how to install because some of you do still appreciate it. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that now. So if I open up my DJI Fly app, then as you can see, I've had absolutely no prompt to say there is a new app version available. Now, at some point, you will get this notification up on your screen to say app version 1.4.8 is now available. But given the fact that the app version was launched for iOS this morning and Android was about 30 minutes ago, I'm going to show you how to do the manual install so you don't have to wait for it to pop up within the Fly app automatically. So let's get started and let's show you how to do that. So all we need to do is open up a web browser then, as you can see, go into our type box, and we're going to type in DJI, and then as you can see, we have got DJI Fly Download Center. Now it doesn't matter whether you're doing the on the download page for the Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, uh, or any of the DJI drones, basically it will download. So let's click the F DJI Fly Download Center then. And as you can see, uh, DJI has still been a bit lazy and still showing the uh, iOS version as 1.4.2 and 1.4.2 for Android, which is a bit lazy since we've had 1.4.4 recently as well. So they really need to step that up. But anyway, what we're going to do is going to go ahead and click the download, download Android APK. And as you can see, that is DJI Fly version 1.4.8. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and of course we are downloading the file now. So that is now downloaded, so we're going to click ahead. And do you want to install an update to this existing application? Your existing data will not be lost. Let's go ahead and click Install. Right, so now that app is installed. So we're going to go ahead and click Open, and we'll open up the new version of the DJI Fly. Initializing resource data and starting the app up. And that is how you install the latest version. So just to uh, make sure that it is the latest version and we're all installed correctly, let's, as usual, click on Profile. Let's click Settings. Let's scroll down to the bottom. And as you can see, DJI Fly version 1.4.8, build number 1113. 
So now I've shown you guys how to install that and we have looked at the new features including the uh, imminent launch of the DJI Mini SE. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is take one of my drones out for a flight and just see if I can see any of the new features and just test out that new uh, compass or attitude indicator. I'm really excited to see if that's been fixed. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to launch that video in a few hours time from now and please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification to make sure that you don't miss out on that video launch. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.